Okay, um, Griffin, Christopher Gregoire, Chris Gregoire, um, Kenyatta Duckworth's um, son that drowned in the lake, and we've talked to him before. I was going to say, we've talked to him before. Yes. Can you come in for a second? I just had a yes. quick question for him. Yeah. Okay. Is he there? Yeah, he's here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Share the video. Yes. Your mom is struggling, kiddo, big time. Um, so I want to say hi to you, and um, and I did tell her that the the things that she talks to, she's so excited that it is you, you know, when she tries to talk herself out of it or whatever. And um, do you play with your little brother TJ that's three years old because he said he sees you and plays with you? So I wanted to confirm that. Okay, I thought it was probably true. He keeps running something over my shoulder and over my neck. Oh, how funny. <laughs> Just like a... <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, he plays. He engages. Good. He really wishes he had something to give his mom to help her with the, all the changes. He says there's nothing I can tell her to help her. She has to do this. He said she has to do this on her own. And I said, really? Like without, he goes, because I don't have all the right words. She has to get right with herself, but allow people to help her with that process. Right. <laughs> right. But um, Griffin and I get a kick, I mean Griffin, she and I get a kick out of that we feel like you and Griffin probably brought us together and that you know when we're talking, because we talk a lot on the private messages on Facebook. And we make each other feel better, you know, for a minute even. Griffin and Christopher are talking about Halloween going as Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> so funny. It's so funny. And I guess, Chris, you can interject or anyone, but the next question is for you, Jamie, is she wants to know... Um, how we can better connect with our son. She says, is it me? Because I was trying to, you know, I've never talked to her on the phone. It's all texting. And I said, I think when our vibrations are so low from depression, it's really hard for them to make our presence, their presence known. Griffin goes, Mom, you don't have to think anymore. You know. Right. When you're grieving, your vibrations are denser. A little more difficult for us to kind of worm our way in to say hello. Right. Um, Christopher says it's easier when my mom is distracted with something else, like her to do list during the day. I can catch her off guard where she's just having a normal moment, um, thinking about. You know, is milk going to be in the refrigerator, whatever it is. Right. And he says it's easier for me to introduce myself or come into the room and get her to notice me in that state of mind. State of mind is they agreed, number one, we're going to put it in order. Can you give me three? Can we do like one, two, three? <laughs> number one, state of mind. Number two, <laughs> Griffin goes, you wish it was that easy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I do. So make it sound easy. He goes, well, that's important. Griffin's like, you can't just say to people one, two, three, and then you're going to get this outcome. He's, you got to let them know they have to be totally on board and be patient. Um, the second thing, be, be open, be easy with yourself. When you get the nudge that your son or the spirit you're wanting to connect with, your loved one is in the room. <laughs> stop, stop touching. I know that's not a hair. It feels thick, like the width of a finger just going <laughs> from here to the back. Kids, they, kids, they mess with you, Jane. <laughs> yeah. They probably are it's laughing. Creepy. Yeah. It's creepy. I know. Um, <clears throat> no more. Okay. So... Be easy with yourself, be kind, um, be open, that when you sense that they're in the room, you, Griffin says, just chill out, take a breath, and say hi. 
and pause, like wait, instead of, oh my God, is that really you? Can you prove it to you by moving the, the salt shaker? Can you prove it to you by moving the wind? Bite my arm and prove it's me. <laughs> Bite my arm. <laughs> Bite my arm. <laughs> Bite my arm and I'll know it's you. <laughs> yeah. And by the end, you're saying, if you just make hair, I'll know it's you. <laughs> if you just make. Christopher's like, yeah, yeah. By the bite pattern, I'll know if it's you, son. Like how exactly. the teeth are. Mm -hmm. It's so funny, you guys. Dumb and dumber here. Um, number three, after you've calmed down and you've remained in an open space and said hi, Griffin said that it's. but make it in a simple. Yeah, yeah, I see. yeah, yep. Yeah. Keeping it simple by asking just the yes or the no. Uh -huh. So he, everybody's talking now, right? One of the most common questions you hear, is it really you? Is it really you? They do, so they hear um, that all the time. Yeah, is that really you, son? Is that really you, dad? Is that really you? Uh -huh. Fine, that's a yes and no question. Is that really you? Right. Yes or no? Be willing to um, receive an answer. Griffin says most people ask questions, but they really don't want to get an answer. They're right. too, <laughs> excuse the language, they're too fucking afraid to get an answer. If they get an answer, then all of a sudden, they're back into communication with a person that they've already signed up and believe that they will never communicate with again. So that's a big, huge step. It's not just a belief thing. It's getting over something that you have prepped yourself through. Right. And I was laughing with Cindy because I go, we were going to make a, a knock three times when we get, you know, whoever goes first. And I go, I know I'm going first, so I'm going to punt you out because I know you're going to go, wait, that was only two knocks. And it's going to be so much harder than I thought when I go get to the other side and I'm going to be punching you in the face like, you better recognize that's me. <laughs> Griffin is laughing his head off. <laughs> he says it's true. Right. And he, he says, you know what gets me, Mom, is you could probably knock three times and then Cindy would believe you for like a day and then the, she'd go to sleep and wake up and be like, well, I mean, if that was really you, knock three times. Right, right. And he says you're constantly jumping through the hoop of it's really me, it's really me, it's really right. me. He goes, when's the next step? When is it that, okay, I'm going to believe it's really you, and now I'm going to ask you a question rather than keep challenging you if it's your existence or right. not. Right, and then three days later, Griff, she'll have a broken water pipe or something, and she'll go, that was just the damn water pipe. I know it was. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, meanwhile, my mom is taking a victory lap with, like, a golden crown and flags. <laughs> right, I did it. <laughs> Touchdown called back. Yeah, exactly. So funny. so funny. Oh my god. That was a great vision. I could see you in that right. Roman headdress with the flags. Victory Doing my lap. Victory dance. Yeah. And then Chris, do you um visit your stepfather, Tim? Like when I guess he raised you, so your dad. When um he's working on the, he works outside, you know, doing landscape. He's yes, seen yes. you and he says he sees you. Yes, yes, yes. He shows up. Okay, and he even heard you tell him that he needed to hydrate. <laughs> yes. When my dad's working like that, he's as calm as can be. And he said it's like somebody else meditating. Right. Exactly. That's a good point also to remember. You know, when you're doing work that you love or you're like, even if it's heady and you're very involved with it, if you love it, you're hitting almost a similar plateau as a meditative state of mind. And it's easier for spirit to engage with you. You're in the zone. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, as the lights change. I know. Chris, do you have any? Oh, I saw that. <laughs> um, Chris, do you have any messages for your mom, honey? Because I'll let her hear this. I love you. I love it. He's saying it again. It's, I wanted to know that I appreciate her and I respect her and I love her and that what she's feeling is what she's feeling and it's okay for her to. Be okay with where she is. Why don't you go touch your mom? Yeah, because she knows I'm talking to you right now. Go. He said, okay. He said, I'll see you later. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you, kid. <laughs>